once you open up your emulator file, you want to go to Project 64. Go to Options, Configure Controller Plugin. This should pop up. It should say None right there, but if you did it correctly, Byte Under None will be the name of the kind of controller you have. Mine will say Mad Cat's Gamepad because mine's a Mad Cat controller. Now what you're going to do here, you're going to be syncing all your buttons. So for analog stick, you're obviously going to use the left analog stick to move. So what you want to do is right there, you're going to push that blue square. And right there, you're going to change it from whatever's there. Once you click that button, move this joystick left. And that joystick should pop up. Now what you need to do, I'll show you what to do. You're going to move your joystick left for there. On analog stick R, you're going to move your joystick right. On analog stick U, you're going to move it up. On analog stick D, you're going to move it down. Now this is just my personal configuration. It might not you might not like it or not, but you're just getting used to it, so I'm just trying to help you get faster. Now the A, B, S, and the L, R, Z, those are going to be the X, Y, and stuff buttons in the bumpers. For A, you're going to push X. It'll show up as Joypad 2. For B, you're going to push Y. For S, you're going to push the start button. For L, you're going to push left bumper. For R, you're going to push right bumper. And for Z, you're going to push the left trigger. Now onto the C buttons, the easiest part. For L on the C buttons, you're going to move the directional pad left. For R, you're going to move it right. For uh, U, you're going to move it up. For D, you're going to move it down. Digital really has no point whatsoever. It will never ask you to use these keys in any Nintendo 64 game. Trust me. These buttons are pretty much there for no reason. Because if you really notice on the Nintendo 64 controller, these are the only buttons. Now once you do that, you're going to click OK. Xbox 360 controller should still be synced and everything. And you're going to open up one of your games. I'll open up... Let's see. I'll use... Hmm. Let's use... Mario Kart. Now this game is un amazingly addicting with the Xbox 360 controller. I'll show you. It's on full screen just to show you. I am using the Xbox 360 controller. Hold on, I gotta set up a camera angle. Drop the camera. Can't tell if this is a good angle or not. Whoops. Can't tell if it's a good angle or not, but it'll just have to do. There's the Xbox control. Oh no, I dropped the camera. Whoops. My bad. I did not mean to do that. I guess I'll just have to play with one hand. Okay. Now, obviously, since the X button will be the a button, push X, that'll pop up, push X to start the game, just so shit works, move it, see it works, it's not fake, it's all real. I know you can't really see, I'm sorry, my picture quality is not that good on my phone, but I'm just showing you how it works, pretty much. I'm going to pick Luigi, Luigi's my man. Now what you need to do, push X. Now this is going to be pretty hard, 
steering with the uh, Xbox controller with one hand, but I'll have to do it, I guess. I don't really care what I play, I'm just trying to get through it real quick just to show you guys what it's like. show you me steering. Sorry for the bad camera angles. It's just really hard to play Mario Kart with one hand while holding the camera. So this is the best I can do at the moment until I get a tripod. This is pretty much the next best thing. Anyway, that's basically it. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me or leave a question in the comments, and I will be sure to help you as best as I can. And don't remember to leave some suggestions for my name. This is uh, the last time I guess you'll hear Spy vs. Spy. Make you wait for a new name, anyway. But yeah, just if you have any questions, just be feel free to message me or leave a comment below. Anyway, thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe. Bye.